over one of the hottest new talents to emerge out of the fashion industry in the last year. Right now, I'm sitting next to no one other than Bumi Coco. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look absolutely lovely. You look tired though. I'm exhausted. I think we've just done the second round of the shows. Yeah. And I think I've spoken to like tons of people. Yeah. And yeah. I'm Mickey glad, Lee. you know, yeah. everyone's like, it's great. Yeah. So that's, that's very good, you know. It's amazing to hear all this good feedback after months of hard work. Definitely. Yeah. You deserve it. And I'm loving your talk. It looks to me to be um, inspired by animal print, which is very funny because um, the whole show kind of gave out a bit of an animal print vibe. I mean, yeah. tell us about it. Um, yeah, it had an animal print vibe because um, the, the, the one of the key inspirations was the leopard masquerade okay, wow. from the Calaba region of Nigeria. It's called the Epe masquerade. And um, you know, it was not a literal translation because we, we worked on the prints I designed. Okay. Um, the, the, the actual prints, and that was inspired by the motifs of the raffia in yeah. the masquerade. Apart from that, there were also like fusions with Scotland and Great Britain because of um, Mary Slazer, who was yeah. a Scottish missionary who went to Nigeria in the 19th wow, century. Okay. And um, she happens to be my partner's um, great great grandmother. Okay. So she. Your partner's Francis. Francis. I think she's the um, directly linked to Bumi Kenya. Yeah, he's the okay. CEO of the company. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah, so, you know, we have a great partnership there. And um, it's just great that we can tie in, you know, history and, you know, the, this modern times together and bring something that was culturally liberating, I think. And I very actually, powerful and empowering. I actually googled her, googled her image, yeah. and um, I saw that her face appeared as a currency. Yeah, she's on the Scottish ten pound note with okay. her um, adopted children. And wow. like, if you see on the flip side, there's a map of the Calabar region where she was in Nigeria. So okay. like, Nigeria and Scotland have kind of got a, a great link. So I'm um, okay. Let's let's take it back a bit. So how did you get involved with fashion? Um, I think it was just you know from an early interest, right from an early age. I mean, like my mom used to travel around. The UK and the States, and she would bring back like loads of fashion magazines. Okay. So I think I think Lucky just from looking at stuff like that, and you know, drawing and um, making stuff like my Barbie dolls and things like that. And that's sort of you know from the age of about four, I think, when I started doing all that wow, stuff. Very young. So you've always known what you wanted to do. Yeah, I did. I did. You know, even though I've taken a few other routes of what styling. I've done a bit of photography. You yeah. know, illustration and now you know really fusing all together which is why I think you know you can really see the outcome because yeah definitely I don't just design I do a bit of everything else for really, so and so fun. you're here now um, although you know some people might call you emerging emerging talent you've already like styled Michelle Obama let's clarify the rumor um, when I mentioned your name Bobby Coco everyone asked okay she's the lady that sent her clothes to the White House I'm the lady that sent the clothes to the White House well I sent the uh, lookbook yeah Yes. And what happened? And, um, you know, we have been in contact with them. I mean, with regards to the, um, with regards to them actually receiving what we've sent. Okay. Um, but with what happens after that now, I think everybody just has to wait and see because we don't. I just don't want to like, you know, burn anything for myself. But you know, I, I think Michelle Obama is a great lady. Definitely she's an inspiration to she's myself. A, she's a fashion icon. Actually. And uh, she is, you know. So I'm, I'm just amazed by what she's been able to achieve and. I would absolutely love to see her in one of our pieces. Have you met her before? Never. Oh, well, you never know. I met Nelson Mandela, so... Wow. You never know. I didn't think that was going to happen. I found myself in Johannesburg. What was that like? I mean, it's an experience, you know. I've got the Mandela bracelet on today. We just, okay. We went to the fashion show. We, we, we were nominated for an award. Right. It's absolutely lovely. Wow, amazing. Went to do African Fashion Week. Yeah. You know, like you just think, I'm going to do Fashion Week. And then you're in Johannesburg, you catch a bit of football while yeah. you can. But then, you know, when we were nominated for the award, we won the award as well. And then, like, look, someone from the Mandela family wants to wear this stuff. I'm like, no way. So, wow. me and Francis were, like, so excited. We got to meet the whole family. They just loved the whole show. We, we, we showed some of our collection at the Nelson Mandela um, charity okay. fundraising so event. Very, so, very so, we got to, you know, we got to meet some great people. They're like, do you want to come over to the house tomorrow? Yeah. Like, oh, my God. So, we, there he was. We saw you, him. You actually, you actually won an award, I think. The, the, it was the Emerging uh, International Design. Yeah, at the Africa Fashion Yeah, yeah and that was amazing, amazing. 
I know some of them that gave us some blessings as well. So I just I'm carrying my good luck charm with me today. He's such an amazing man, you know. Yeah, absolutely you. speechless to me. <laughs> and so right now I think Mel B's an ambassador for the brand. So she's a big fan. Um, what what attracted you to Scary Spice? Yeah, she, she got attracted to us actually. Yeah, wow. yeah, she saw one of the designs in a in a magazine and she got in contact. And so when we sent them some clothes to her, she was like, I want to, I want to meet this girl. And um, she, she actually called me. Really? Yeah. And I, it was like a shock. I think it was a shock, like, okay, oh my god. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's Mel. I'm like, Mel? Who's Mel? Mel who? Yeah. <laughs> and it was amazing. She was like, oh, do you want to come over? Yeah. Let's have a chat. Yeah. yeah. I got to meet her. And I was like, one on one yeah. with Mel B, who I probably idolize. Oh, Alright. Oh, that's yeah, fantastic. Sorry. Saying goodbye, so, saying goodbye so, to a relative. That's fine. That's fine. Sorry, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah. She's so. Sorry. She, you're so popular. Yeah. It's, let, let's keep that natural. This thing is live. <laughs> and that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, how you're, you're originally from Nigeria? Yes. How would you compare the Nigerian fashion scene to like the British fashion scene, or at least London? It's very different because I feel that I mean something I'm very passionate about in the sense that I just feel that some people still don't quite get the understand um, understand what it is to actually design something. Okay. And I feel that there is, um, it's an area that I feel that we can really, really improve on. And yeah. I think it's just because we don't have fashion as a, as a course. I think you need to we go don't over have... there and launch Bobby Coco. That's you know what? what? Yeah, that's if Nigeria would have me. Do you know, there's what a lot of, um, well, it's a bit of a controversial issue because I just, I don't feel like we get much support. But I did contact the High Commissioner okay. um, in, like, in, in London yeah. concerning our show and what we're doing and flying the flag. No word at all. Wow. The Nigerian well, government. Well, if you're watching, you need to get in touch with so this lady. I'm like, hey, <laughs> you know, give us some support. We're doing something right, you know, yeah. and, you know, so that's some, some of the things. But then besides that, I think the fashion industry in general, I just feel like, you know, there, there's a lot more to fashion than just using, you know, some of our traditional prints we can invent and reinvent. And I think it's just because I feel like we don't really have fashion education. That's what the collection is. That's what the collection today was about matriarchy. I mean, yeah, it's all yeah. about, um, you know, I think it was as much as used animal print, you yeah. kind of, you know, redefined it, reinvented it. So you yeah. kind of took your roots, but you did something Yeah, it's did something it. very yeah. different and like commercial and yeah. directional as yeah. well. And, um, you know, these were all digital prints that I sat on the computer with is for ages. Cocoa? It is Bobby Coco. Oh, wow. It's a special Bobby Coco, it's a design <laughs> one. Yeah. A designer one. Yeah, you know, so, but it was great, you know, everything's all hands on, like, sit down, making prints and, and all that kind of stuff. Where do you see yourself in the next five years, or Bumi Coco in the next five years? Bumi Coco, Coco in the next five years, you know, after, you know, gosh, I think we would like, you know, we've got it all in our plans anyway, myself and Francis, to really push the brand into more of a lifestyle, luxury brand where okay. we have other products like um, kids wear, accessory line, men's wear, um, beauty range as well, maybe wow. a cocoa fragrance, you know, but you know, all of these things have to be timed properly. Okay, cool. Um, cool. So, as well as the illustration side of the business, we want to do something with that by launching a, a like a coffee table style book with all the illustrations that illustrate fashion through time. So you really want to expand? Yeah, we really want That's to expand. That's fantastic. Well, you know, definitely for now, concentrating on being in those schools. Oh, definitely. And I think circulate it around the world. Now. Definitely. And so before we go, you're obviously a, a lovely, elegant lady of style. Can you please give us, what's your typical idea of a perfect on-trend outfit? Well, it has to be one of the prints on the matriarch collection, <laughs> I think. Of course, of course, of course. You know, with a, in a font ochre or in the red, which are quite inspiring prints. Yeah. And, you know, I would pick, you know, perhaps one of the shift dresses that we It's got like a gradient. It sort of blends in, okay. like from dark to light, and I think that's really fun. And I carefully position the dark bits in certain areas. Yeah. The dark around the waist to give you a smaller waist, yeah. and then dark on the shoulders. And it just it holds the body really well. So I think it's, you know, like, it, it really did better. Like, you know, yeah, I've been told by a lot of people, like, that dress, I'm going to get to touch it like that. So I'm like, you're better. Very curvy, yeah, yeah ladies. Yeah. So <laughs> it's really, really good. I'm pleased. I'm relieved as well. Yeah. So it was really, really nice talking to you. So you hang yeah, around. Thank about some freebies. Yeah. So, yes. yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> but no, you worked hard and you said the collection was amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.